Alright y'all, uh, in order to make the actual pop tart, you're gonna need one and three fourths cup of flour. So we'll just put plop that in there. Plop. Plop. Uh one fourth a uh, tablespoon wait. One tablespoon of sugar. Uh not that not that yet. You can't mix everything together yet. Not yet. All right, part two coming up. All right, y'all, I forgot to say, add a tablespoon, a teaspoon of salt. All right, then you, make, then you wanna mix this for like 15 seconds just to get it all mixed up. All right, then we add a cup of butter on top. And uh, usually uh, you're supposed to have a mixing machine, but IDK where mine is. You gotta mix this for 11 minutes. So uh, see y'all later then. All right, y'all, for this part, you're gonna need all right, this is gonna mix in later. So you're gonna need two egg yolks and three tablespoons of milk. And you're just gonna put it in this bowl and mix it. I'll show y'all later. All right, y'all, so we whisked the milk and eggs. Now we're gonna put it with our dough and then we're gonna mix it some more. Okay, so we got our dough. We put it on up uh, some plastic. All right, so you're gonna split them in half. Split it in half and refrigerate this for 30 minutes. Next up, we're gonna be making some uh, red vine filling. Okay, so we're making the red vine filling. So y'all are gonna need like five red vines, and you cut them into like little one inch segments, and you put them in a cup, you know, a saucepan of like hot water. So this hot, it's really hot, guys. Oof, I messed up. No, no red vine left behind. <laughs> I realized that was kind of disgusting. Yikes, I... <laughs> okay, so we got the red vines in the water and we're gonna wait for this to boil. All right, so... After that, we're gonna be uh, mixing it with uh, some egg yolks, two egg yolks, uh, two tablespoons of cornstarch, and uh, three fourths cup of flour, uh, cups of sugar. All right, all right, y'all. We got this thing boiling. It's super red. All right, uh, it's pretty tough. Not gonna lie. All right, so we got off the heat source. We let it cool for like a minute. Now we're gonna add uh, three fourths cup of sugar. Uh, uh, some, uh, what's this called? Cornstarch, uh, two tablespoons of cornstarch, uh, and two egg yolks. And then, uh, we're gonna put that back on at medium heat and constantly, uh, m whisk it until it's all, like, nice and thick and bubbly. Alright, see y'all there. Alright, so we got, alright, so we got the filling done. It's nice and bubbly. So you're just gonna whisk it for another minute after you turn off the heat, and then you just let it cool. We're on to the icing next. Arizona iced tea, baby. Let's get it. For the Arizona iced tea icing, all y'all need is a nice Arizona green tea. It's, uh, one, one uh, what's it called? Cup of powdered sugar, and one fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract. You put it in a bowl. I even need a. Uh, can, you, can you do this for me, Mom? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, you're gonna need uh, uh, three uh, tablespoons of Arizona iced tea. So, yeah, three tablespoons, and you're gonna mix it together. And then you're gonna make icing. That's gonna be tough. Cause that's gonna be the stuff we put on top. Peace. All right, so we put the icing in the fridge. Epic. All right, y'all. The dough is ready too, so let's eat that out. Okay, gamers. So you got gotta make a light, lightly flour like a surface. Now that the dough's been like refrigerated for like 30 minutes. Uh, 
you gotta take this. Like, this is like, you only need like one of the halves to make like one giant one. Like you could, you could resize it however, but I'm just gonna make one giant one with this. So you're just gonna cut this in half. Oh, that's actually kind of tough. Okay. And then you're gonna make it, form it into two rectangles. <laughs> And I'll see you after that. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So we got the fill in here. We gotta fill up the pot. I tried the filling earlier, and it's really good. It tastes just like red vines. Well, like, you could re replace red vines with Twizzlers if you're, like, lame like that, but red vines are my favorite. Like, this this whole food is just a combination of, like, my three favorite things, pretty much. Alright, we got it. Alright, y'all, uh, so we made the Pop-Tart. It kind of leaked a little, but, uh... I'm I'm not I'm I'm really freestyling this so cut me some slack it's actually really hard to make this but we're gonna put this in the oven on bake for 350 and cook it for like 40 minutes random update uh, with the extra dough we made like two random flavors uh, key lime and uh, Nutella I bet all right so we got them in the oven we're gonna let them cook for 40 minutes and now I'm gonna clean the kitchen. See y'all later. It's a huge ass mess. What do you know? All right, gamers, we got the kitchen clean. It's so clean you can see the reflection. Check it out. Yep, that's tough. You already know we about to take a whole lactate. There's so much butter in this, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> All right, what's up? We did it. We made it. Get it shown what's good. Red vine pop tart with Arizona iced tea glaze. Let's get a good bite. Let's see how it is. Mm. Oh, that bite didn't have any. F Here, let me hear. This bite got some. This bite got some filling in it. Mmm. Yo. I actually made something that doesn't taste terrible for once. I give this a 9 out of 10. Thank y'all for watching. If you enjoyed me, if you enjoyed my videos, hit the like button and subscribe for more epic content. Sayonara gamers.